Okay, so we wanted to go to our BJT sheet, and the first part of this right here kind of shows our basic equations at the top. Here's our small signal model, and then here are our values right here. At this point, we're just going to ignore the two capacitors. So what we want to do today is to look at these three right here where these are looking at the Thevenin equivalent resistance looking in, into different sides of the transistor. So we are interested in these three. Let's start with this one right here. So this is what we're after. So what we're going to do is we see that up here at this part, there's nothing there. So let's see if we just add something there. So this is what our basic circuit will be. Some random voltage there, some voltage source, which we call VCC. We have our transistor. This part is ground, and we are doing our Thevenin looking into that terminal. So the first step is, is we want to go to the small signal model. So we start with the small signal model, which is R pi, V pi. We have our dependent current source, which is GM V pi. We have our RO. And then this is our collector, this is our base, this is our emitter. So then we're going to come in here and start connecting. So right here, my emitter's ground. So we put the ground here. My collector right here goes through my resistor to a voltage source, which we just call R. We're doing a Thevenin equivalent, so all of our independent sources are turned off, so this point becomes ground. And then we're going to come into our input. We have a dependent source, so we are going to use a test source. To find our Thevenin equivalent. And then we are going to find the current going through our test source. So we're going to rewrite this and move this resistor down. So let's just get rid of this. And then we're just going to come over here and draw it down there. Let's go ahead and connect all these so that you can see it easy. Now we're trying to find this current, but I have a dependent current source. But if we see right here, if I do a KCL, then the current in, there's only one wire that crosses there. So the current in here has to be equal to the zero because the sum of all the currents has to be equal to zero. So if we redraw, so then we just have this. And then we see there's only one resistor. So R Thevenin equals R pi which is what we have right here. So we just proved that one. Okay, so now let's go and grab our second one. Now we're interested in this one right here. So we're interested in this one right here. So now we're gonna go through the same process and in this case, they're both ground, so we start with our small signal model. Let me draw this a little bigger. Okay, and then we're going to connect it. We come over here and we see that our emitter is grounded and our base is grounded. And this is where we're putting in our test source because this is where we're trying to find our Thevenin equivalent. And this is our V test. So now what we see here, oh, and this is our V pi. 
that if I do a KVL around this loop, we see that V pi equals zero. If V pi equals zero, then that means that this term right here is zero, and then we can redraw our circuit that looks like this. And we see there's only one resistor, so R Thevenin equals RO, and that's what we get right here. Okay, now we're on to our third one. So we're going to grab this one right here. Okay, so now we're going to do the same thing. So we start with our small signal model. R pi, V pi. And in this case, you see that they are just doing a little bit simpler. So they are saying that the VA is equal to infinity. So we don't have that. Uh, but there is a resistor up at the top. So what we see here is we have some random resistor. This block right here just means that I can put any resistor there and it shouldn't matter. So we're going to call this R. Our independent source becomes ground. And this point here is ground and this point here is where we're putting our test source. So let's redraw all of this because we want to take these ground points and move them down to the bottom. So this goes to V test G and V pi and then this point here has some resistor R to ground. Okay, and our V pi is from here to here. Okay. So what we see is that this resistor doesn't really affect anything because this current source is just going to tell how much current goes through there. And all this current goes down into these two. And so what we're trying to do is figure out how much of this current is going down. Okay, so what we need to do now is we're just going to do a node right there and you see that this value oops, coming up is I test. So let's do that node and so what we have is we have V test over R pi minus I test minus GM V pi equals zero and we see that V pi equals minus V test. So we have V test over R pi minus I test plus G M V test equals zero. Okay, so let's go over here and then we have I test equals V test times one over R pi plus G M. So what we need to do is we need to see how those are related. So if we go back over to our sheet, we see that our R pi is equal to the VT over IB and my G M is equal to the IC over VT. So what we can do is we can see that R pi is equal to VT over IB, which is equal to beta 
times VT over IC, which is equal to beta over GM, so we can put them into the same form. So now we have I test is equal to V test times, we're going to flip that, so that's GM over beta plus GM, which is equal to V test times GM times 1 plus 1 over beta, which is approximately, since beta is much, much larger than 1, this is equal to V test times GM, which means that my R Thevenin is equal to 1 over, well, is equal to V test over I test, which is equal to 1 over GM which is what we have right here, and then we are all done. We have derived these. Now, what this means now is, now that we've derived it, every time we don't have to go through that derivation again, I'm gonna to come to this table, and I'm gonna say, oh, I'm looking in this terminal of the transistor, this part is grounded, so therefore I can just know that it's R pi. So now that we've done it once, we're just going to use these values here. Now, if we wanted to, there's some more down here. We're not gonna derive all of these right now. But if I have these different configurations,